The Nigerian government has embarked on a process that will hand over its power sector to the ingenuity and drive of the private sector. The Minister of Power has said the country's power generation capacity will hit 12,000 megawatts by 2015. Uh, ABN's uh, Umu Ibrahim caught up with the newly appointed Nigerian Minister of Power, Chinedu Nebo, for a deeper look at this transformation plan. It all means that the government has taken the bull by the horn. In other words, all the preparation for this very event to ensure the privatization of the entire power sector as a means of revamping the power sector of the economy and ensuring that Nigerians have light and then removing the hands of the government from the uh, generation and the distribution aspect of the power uh, sector has now started. So this very day is very symbolic that the signing of these agreements now indicate that the ball has been set rolling in that regard. Now we understand that the ball has been set rolling, but what should we expect next? Well, we expect that after the signing of this by the preferred bidders, they will come up with a 25% of what they had bidded and then will give some time off for them to come up with the remaining 75%. Once that is done, then the companies will be duly and legally handed over to these preferred bidders. Now, what capacity of power generation should we expect the country's you know, power sector to hit after the signing of this agreement? We really are working very hard. Um, we are expecting that uh, in the next two years, we should be able to really generate, and we have the potential for doing that, at least 12,000 megawatts. Uh, we are shooting for much more than that, but potentially we have all it takes to ensure that by next year we have that capacity. So what we are having problems and challenges with is essentially transmission. And that is the area that government is now going to pump in a lot of energy and a lot of resources to ensure that the power that's generated eventually is transmitted and then distributed to the people. Now, what modalities have been put in place by the government to ensure that the successful companies deliver on their promises and meet the expectations of the Nigerian citizens? It's part of the terms of the agreement. They must deliver. The government didn't um, just decide to do this as a ball game or something for entertainment. They must deliver. And part of the mechanism is that their profitability depends on their capacity to deliver. So, you know, once, once things get into the hands of the private sector, they are profit-driven. And because they are profit-driven, uh, I believe that they will do very well. Otherwise, they may be facing some sanction from the government. Developing nations like Ghana are exploring all the sources for power generation. What plans do you have for um, alternative power in Nigeria? Would you explore nuclear energy as an alternative? Well, Nigeria is thinking about a very good power mix. We are thinking about the regular gas fire turbines. We are thinking about hydropower. We already have some hydropower plants, but some of the major ones coming on board include Zungeru that will give us nearly 800 megawatts and Mambila that will give us 3,050 megawatts of power. That alone is almost 75 percent, or call it 70 percent of what we now are generating. So when Mambila comes on board, it will be really a significant improvement. We're also thinking of renew renewable energy. We are looking at wind power, we are looking at solar energy, and we are expecting that when things all set up, we are going to have, um, a, you know, much of it will say be gas fire turbines, then the hydros, but about six, four to six percent will be from renewable energy.